I spent last year fighting colors on my machines. Tried several screen calibrators, but never was satisfied with the results. I tried several monitors, but never was satisfied with the colors. You won't believe how bad colors can look on a poorly calibrated device. I'm working with colors all the time, textures, color grading, compositing, all that stuff. And I want monitor that I would trust in terms of colors. I found one. professional monitor by BankQ designed specifically for video post-production work. Sounds awesome. You know me in my reviews, I will run through features that hooked me up. I won't go deep into charts and measurements that I don't fully understand myself. The main selling point for me was hardware calibration. I'll explain. The monitor itself comes with a paper which is a certificate that ensures you that everything was perfectly calibrated at the factory. But in case you want to calibrate it yourself, you can do so and store the color profile inside the monitor itself. What does it mean? Getting back to my Razer Blade Pro color problem, it wasn't a hardware issue, it was internal software conflict and it was extremely hard to beat that software color management. Regular monitors are dependent on the machine to sort out the color questions. Hardware calibrated uh, monitors sort the colors themselves because they store color profiles inside. So whatever machine I will connect to this monitor, I will get precise colors. How cool is that? I finally am able to see what I'm doing and be sure that what I see is true. This monitor has several uh, color profiles stored inside, which are suitable for different type of work. Most of the time I'm on uh, Rec 907, which in a nutshell is a equivalent of us RGB in video. This time I was looking for something big. This monitor is 32 inch with 4K resolution, so any elements of any software are big and sharp. Being able to see small details while texturing or compositing or even editing is crucial in CG and VFX production. Despite how weird it might sound, I never had 4K monitor. My previous widescreen LG was 2K and when paired with my laptop, I started to experience different scaling issues. On my laptop, everything was small and neat, but on my monitor, it was big now both my laptop and my monitor are 4K, so once connected I have one big even workspace. Because my laptop is 17 inch, I'm hooking up my monitors on the wall because otherwise my laptop will obscure it on a regular stand. But this monitor comes with a very pleasing stand. It's very sturdy, it's very well made. It has holes that will help you with wire management. I honestly tried to use it because the stand is even sexy, but my giant laptop just obscures everything. The stand has a bowl in it. It is meant for external controller that comes with the monitor. You can place it in there and instead of navigating the menu using touch buttons on the monitor, you can use the this joystick and navigate through menu much quicker. I'm pretty sure if I would have the monitor on the stand, I would use it. But I don't because I have enough uh, round objects on my desk already. Last but not least feature of the stand is that it allows you to put monitor in a vertical orientation. This is mostly useful for retouch and illustration, not that much for me, but yeah. It's there. The monitor was uh, made with artists in mind, seriously. It has picture in picture mode and what that means is that you can connect two sources and display them at the same time. It might be particularly useful while color grading. You can set up a reference image on one machine and then color grade on the main machine. 
Of course, there are tools like that in uh, most of the color grading softwares, but you know, this is cool and it doesn't utilize any resources from your main source. By saying that this monitor was made with artists in mind, I also mean that it, it is not for gamers. 60 Hertz through DisplayPort and 30 Hertz over HDMI is not that perfect for gaming but it's enough for CG and VFX production. As I started to talk about ports, you can connect your machine over HDMI, DisplayPort and Mini DisplayPort. Another feature worth mentioning is two USB 3.0 Zero ports and one SD card slot on the side of the monitor. I checked the speeds, it's as fast as my professional card reader from Sony. In order to be able to use these ports, you need to connect your monitor using this fancy cable. This connection is also necessary if you want to store your own color profiles in the monitor. The price is very competitive too. Most of the high-end uh, monitors would cost at least two grand. This one comes at 1050 pounds at the time of this video. Totally worth it and I hope I won't have to think about monitors for another couple of years. If you are an artist who is related to video production, I totally recommend this. If you have nothing to do with videos, I would look at other BenQ monitors because they have versions for photographers, versions for graphic designers, so this might be a better option. So yeah, I'm finally happy because when I connected this thing, I finally didn't have to say, oh my god, it has a green tint, oh my god, it got that sepia tone. What I f***ing paid for? In case you guys don't know, I'm teaching visual effects and everything CG related on my channel, but sometimes I'm doing reviews of uh, professional equipment that I particularly like. Thumbs up if you liked my review, subscribe if you want more, and I see you guys soon. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,